Hi, my name is Susie Mai. I'm a professional kite surfer and I've dedicated my life to saving the ocean. The ocean is humanity's most important life support system. Every second breath that we take comes from the ocean. The ocean also provides food and nourishment for over half of the human population on earth. The ocean is filled with wonders, creatures big and small, some of which we haven't even discovered yet. And in fact, did you know that we know more about outer space than we know about the ocean and deep sea? Unfortunately, for the past many decades, we've been using the ocean as a giant trash can. Every year, we put hundreds of millions of tons of plastics, pollutants, wastewater, and poison into our waterways and into our oceans. The good news is it's not too late and we still have time to save the ocean. By working together, getting involved in our communities, and just generally getting interested in the ocean and helping to spread the message, we can ensure that we have a healthy, vibrant ocean for all of us to enjoy in generations to come. This is what nature does if she's left alone for 50 million years. She produces a rainforest, the most complex and diverse ecosystem on Earth. While covering only 4% of the Earth's land surface, the Amazon rainforest is home to nearly half of the world's plant and animal species. This vast forest stabilizes the global climate, moderating temperatures, absorbing rainfall, and releasing vital currents of moisture into the air. It is said that the forest gives up her secret slowly and only to those who come to her in reverence and respect. The indigenous people of the tropical forest have evolved a rich and complex relationship with the natural world. For thousands of years, these people have lived as an integral thread in this miraculous and fragile weave of life. My name is Nina Gualinga, and I'm from the Ecuadorian Amazon, from the Quechua people of Sarayaku. We're at a crucial time People across the world are fighting to protect life on Earth. The Amazon rainforest is at a tipping point. It has been exploited and burned in every corner. Natural resources like oil, gas, and timber are taken by the minute by extractive companies. This is the same oil that fuels your car and houses. But people don't know the real cost and damage to the Earth. They just see oil and assume it's taken from somewhere far away but it's taken from my home. And people are suffering. The animals are suffering. The trees are being cut down faster than the trees that are growing. And what you need to know about this is that the destruction of the Amazon is financed. It's financed by banks, corporations, and governments. And I'm here today to tell you that we, the people, we have the power to change this together. This is not only indigenous people's responsibility to do alone, but we have been fighting this fight for decades. And if we lose our territories, you will also be affected. And that's the thing that people don't understand. The things that we do matter. The pandemic has really shown us how connected we all are, how important it is to take care of each other and the natural world. We have to seek the solutions and demand our governments to act. Take a responsibility as part of this earth. Start recognizing that we are part of nature, that we are nature itself, and that we are more powerful together. This is a moment like no other in history. It's a moment when many millions of us have slowed down and millions of us are thinking more deeply about the way we live. That is why I started Eco Resolution with Advaya, to encourage all of us to explore how we can live in better harmony with the earth, each other, and ourselves. 
The indigenous peoples of the Amazon already know how to live in harmony with the Earth. Yet, right now, they are threatened twice over. COVID-19 has spread to indigenous communities which are especially vulnerable to disease, and many thousands of cases have been confirmed. At the same time, destructive deforestation in the Amazon is increasing. These wisdom keepers of the forest protect and defend the Amazon for all of us. It's up to us to support them, and we can do that right now by giving to the Amazon Emergency Fund. I urge you to support gener as generously as you can to help provide rapid response supplies like food, medical care, emergency communications and evacuation and help with protection and community resilience across the Amazon region. Beyond that, if we really want to safeguard life on Earth, we must make it illegal to destroy ecosystems like the Amazon. Mass damage and destruction of nature is called ecocide and it should be an international crime just like genocide. That's why I signed up to the Stop the Ecocide campaign, working with lawyers and researchers and diplomats to make ecocide a crime at the International Criminal Court. So I invite you to make an eco-resolution to right now support the Amazon Emergency Fund and to sign up to help stop ecocide. It's time to change the rules so that we can truly protect people and the planet. Thank you. I, I mean, my best in ticket. Um, come on, so I couldn't just in the cast. I'm going to and then snap in one. My best in ticket got me to get on. I'm going to Hi, my name is Jim Ortiz. I'm the chief of Port Elsa Jibwe here in Canada. I'm a leader for Fort Hills Ojibwe First Nation. But I was speaking my own language and we still speak our language here. I just wanted to acknowledge all the leaders out there and the future leaders of tomorrow. I just wanted to share my side of my worldview of the land that I enjoy today. Today, I'm looking at things from the future leaders of tomorrow and yet to come. I just want to say to all of you, I think it was intended to be here in this world. The world is just like a puzzle. Wherever you are and wherever we're at is land. There's the environment. There's a spirit of that land. Spirit of the water, spirit of, of that land. A spirit of people. A spirit of, of the water. And it's about us in this world. Fortunately, I was put in this part of the world, what we call Turtle Island. And some people know it as Canada. But anyway, I was one of the people that, that ended up in this part of the world. In my leadership, I always give respects to the creator that created this world. It's just like a puzzle to me. Wherever you are, everything that you enjoy in that part of the world, it is about the environment. It is about the spirit. It is about the future. It's about leadership. I think we must work together as one peoples of this land, as one human. This world is one. The water is one. The environment is one. And we're part of that environment. So your leaders, future leaders, I'd like to thank you today for listening to me. Really, it's about the environment, the spirit of the world, the spirit of working and understanding each other, working together to educate each other in this 
different parts of this world to protect the environment that we enjoy today. That includes the spirit of this land. Because there is only one God. There is only one air. There's only one sun. There's only one world. And we're all in it. So thank you. Miigwech. I will leave you with that for you, those of you that are future leaders. Thank you.